last lap for Rich Vogler from Indianapolis, Indiana. Rich ran last night at Rockford, Illinois. His car got upside down, didn't finish the race. He comes down here to Tulsa to take the $4,000 first place here at the original Chili Bowl Indoor National Championship for Midgets. And the white flag comes out for Scott Hatton. Hatton down the back straightaway into turn three, out of turn four. He can coast in for the victory now. Your winner, Scott Hatton. This is a white flag lap, and it looked like Beachler got trouble on the back straightaway and lost its spot, at least one spot, as Billy Boat takes the checkered flag. And you can see right there, he's a very happy man. White flag for race leader Sammy Swindell, who looks like he's on the way to his fourth Chili Bowl championship. Coming off of corner number four, Jason Leffler looks down to the bottom for one last time, and it's Sammy Swindell, relatively easy. The white flag comes out, one more to go. Dan Morse, nice and easy, nice and smooth through turn two, down the back stretch. Trying to figure out what he's gonna do with the lap markers. It really is not gonna matter. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Morse picking up the 13th annual Chili Bowl. You can see turn one getting very, very rough, right up to that cushion. Everybody that hits that hole, oh, right there. Our leader gets up on two wheels, boy, that's... Uh... That's bravery, is that what you call that? I'd say so, and he just uh, keeps the hammer down, keeps on charging, and Corey Cruzman is going to win the 14th annual O'Reilly Chili Bowl. The 67 car, Jay Drake, the Keith Coons entry, makes its way to the white flag. Oh, the first, I'm trying to get for second. Now through three and four. His best finish today to fifth, but now you can add the term Chili Bowl champion. I think this race doesn't mean look at Jay Drake. Boy, the more unhappy guy. I think Cruzman might be the fastest guy on the racetrack. There's just no place on the racetrack for him to go. And here they come. White flag. Tony Stewart has the advantage. Well, the last time around they were even. This time Stewart has a bit of an advantage. 
boy, it's going to take a miracle if Dodie wins this race. And then here it is. It's now or never. Tony Stewart wins the Chili Bowl. Unbelievable. Side by side, Tony Stewart. Two to go. Jay Drake, the 2001 Chili Bowl champion. Can he do it again in 2003? Bors is around Tony Stewart. And he is fast up there. He's only got one lap to go. But if Jay Drake makes any kind of an error at all, Danny Bors still has a chance. Look at this. He's got a good run up in turn number two. Bors, who won it in 99. He's got to go high here. We're going for the stripe. It's Dan Bors. He does it. He gets number two. Celebrating in Whoa! victory lane, your 2003 Chili Bowl champion. White flag is in the air from Roger Slack. We're a fifth of a mile from the checkered at the Chili Bowl Midget Nationals. Well, Corey Cruzman may win the war. Danny Lasosk may be a bridesmaid for the third time. Many of the fans' hearts will be with J.J. Yaley. Here he comes, Johnny. Corey Cruzman grabs the win. Lasosky second. And what more could you want from a Chili Bowl? Just a fifth of a mile to go until the Chili Bowl champion is crowned. Dave Darlin is caught up to the lead duo, but I don't think anybody's going to have anything for Hines. They race down the backstretch one final time. Darlin may have something for Cruzman on the final corner. Tracy Hines wins the Chili Bowl. Tracy Hines jubilant in victory lane as the white flag flies for Tim McCready. He's got one lap to go. Mike Goodman, the lapper, is the other car in the picture. Tim McCready from Watertown, New York, began in the Modifieds, now the late model star, and now call him a Chili Bowl champion. He wins at Tulsa. And just his second try, unbelievable. Tony Stewart one lap away from his second Chili Bowl championship and all alone like the chess club president on prom night in the process. Oh, I had to check up a little bit there as he came up on the back of Jason Martin, but Tony Stewart's gonna win his second Golden Driller. Stewart gets the victory. Pressure, pressure, pressure. The white flag flies for Damian Gardner. Stambro picks the front end up off the ground, loses some distance between himself and fourth place running Brian Clausen, but Damian Gardner's into three and four for the final time. Off of turn number four, Conquer California's Damian Gardner wins the 2008 Chili Bowl. Nobody making a move on Sammy Swindell as the white flag flies. Brad Kuhn now down to the inside of Jerry Coons Jr. Sammy Swindell all alone down the backstretch and into three and four. Your 2009 Chili Bowl winner is Sammy Swindell. Victory number five at the Tulsa Expo Raceway inside the Quick Trip Center. Sammy down low in three and four, sliding up high, gets a bite right in the middle, white flag waving, final trip around the Quick Trip Center. Kevin Swindell will lead him down the back straight away. Cole Witt doesn't look like he's in a position to challenge. Goes down low in three and four, can't make the move there. It'll be Kevin Swindell winning the Chili Bowl. Cole Witt second and Sammy Swindell in third. How about the Bulldog, Kevin Swindell? This is a big, huge moment for Kevin. White flag coming out this time by for Kevin Swindell. As Sammy working the low line, the Bulldog up on top. Pickens with his hands full and Jonathan Beeson, one lap to go. Here comes Sammy one more time, trying to pull up the slide job on his son. Around the back straightaway, Pickens pushing it. Sammy down to the bottom. Streamers are coming down. Sammy with the early lead. Oh, too close to call. Kevin Swindell jumps the cushion in turns three and four and holds off his old man by about an inch. Kevin Swindell goes back to back and wins his second straight Lucas Oil Chili Bowl. As the white flag flies, one lap to go. I promise you, if Sammy Swindell can beat his son, he will do so. That's just the way it is in that family. So Kevin Swindell through turns three and four for the final time, all alone, takes the checkered flag and is the first three-time winner of the Lucas Oil Chili Bowl in consecutive years. One lap to go to win number four. Can that right rear hang on? Look at the right rears on both of those cars. They look like you can almost see the air inside of them. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Swindell, the Bulldog, makes it four in a row. Are you kidding me? White flag is out for Brian Clausen. Brian Clausen's been digging hard, but he's never stood on top of the box. He's been here 10 times now, and he's going to find the magic. In the fifth main event start, Brian Clausen wins a 28th run into the Lucas Oil Chili Bowl. Midget Nationals, what a battle. As the white flag comes out for Rico Abreu, final time here at the Chili Bowl. It would be his first career and the 19th different driver to pick up a win here at the Chili Bowl, and it's going to go to Rico Abreu.
Wow, what a tremendous win for Rico Abreu. Lawson slowly rolling him in. Yeah, White flag is out. Again. Here we go. Final lap. Does Clawson have anything for him? He hits that cushion, and he has to check up. That buys Abreu a little bit of time. And Abreu's going to come off and turn number four, and he's going to get it done. Back-to-back -back years for Rico Abreu. And there is your leader looking for his first golden driller. One more clean lap. Can he make it happen as the white flag flies? Christopher Bell comes slinging around. And the first time we're going to see somebody from Oklahoma back in the winner's circle since Andy Hillenberg in 1994 to become the 20th different driver to win the Chili Bowl. But the white flag comes out. Wow, that happened fast. 54 complete, working the last one. Three second lead for Christopher Bell as he works the high side and turns three and four. He can call himself a two time winner of the Chili Bowl. Bell wins here in Tulsa. The seventh person to earn multiple wins out here at the Chili Bowl. But here you go, top oh. two. White flag coming out for Kyle Larson. One to go as he crosses the stripe. Christopher Bell right in his rear bumper. Oh, and he slides up. Christopher Bell gets underneath him. Christopher Bell is going to take the lead, and he does so. Larson comes right back at him. Throw the teammate things out of the window, and Christopher Bell leads one lap of this race. Less than one lap of this race, and it's the only one that matters three consecutive for Christopher Bell what an incredible finish working around the racetrack one of the best up oh, on the perfect. cushion on the ledge if you will and he'll cross the stripe white flag is out does Christopher Bell have anything for him here with half a lap to go I think this one's going to be all Kyle Larson he's got to get through turns three and four right now looks like he's going to get it done and Kyle Larson finally closes the deal at the Chili Bowl the one that's gotten away so many times has finally been caught. Thorson trying to get around into second place. Justin Grant picks up a little bit of pace. White flag is out. One more lap. Looking to make it two consecutive is Young Money. Kyle Larson will kick off 2021 with a win at the Chili Bowl. One more lap. It's Thorson and Bell for immortality. One fifth of a mile away. Down the back straight away. Thorson gases her up into three out of four. You are immortal. Tanner Thorson wins Chili Bowl. That is a cage dance he is never going to forget. Hey, race fans, if you like that, click on the link in the description to watch every Lucas Oil Chili Bowl A-Main event in its entirety, all the way back to the very first one in 1987.